Okay, so the next step is we're going to first need to resize our property photos. You can see here the size of many of these is 1024 pixels wide, whereas we have our watermark we created was 800 pixels wide. So to keep our proportions correct, we want to first resize each of our property photos to match the width of our watermark image that we're going to put on it. So we're using a program called Fast Stone Image Viewer. It's a free download from download.com. So after downloading and installing Fast Stone Image Viewer, I'm using version 5.3. You'll then browse to on your computer where you have a folder with the property photos that you're wanting to resize. So I've browsed to this. Uh, we're just using it as a test here. I'm going to click on one of these photos, then I'm going to press Control A, which you'll see causes it to select all of the photos. From there, we're going to do a batch edit. And that is up here under Tools, Batch Convert. Brings up a new dialog box. We've got 38 files that we have selected. We're going to click here on the Advanced Options button and we're going to select Resize. Now we lack our proportions the way they are, so we're going to select Resize based only on one side. We're going to switch based on the width of the photo to be exactly 800 pixels wide. And a reminder, do not resize if the image is already smaller. This is important because while most of the photos are taken in landscape orientation, uh, sometimes maybe on a narrow bathroom we might switch and do a more narrow portrait view and the size might be smaller. So by selecting this box we're saying if the width is already less than 800 then just leave it in place. But if you can, you do want your photos generally to have just one orientation, which in this case, landscape. So these are the options we've selected. We hit OK. And then we say convert and like magic, Oops. Oops, we did not select our output folder yet. So we're going to browse for the output folder and again browse to where we want to go. I'm going to put mine into just a dump folder. And I'm going to create a subfolder within it. I'm just going to call it that name. So now I've selected my output folder. Now I should be ready to convert. And this is what we call batch processing. You can see it's going through, processing all of them like magic. We'll come back when they're all done. Okay, we can see now that all 38 of 38 files have been processed. And we click Done. Now we're going to need to browse to that output folder. So let's do that now. Test resize. Now that we have all of our pictures the right the same width as our watermark it's now time to apply that watermark image to each of the pictures. The most time effective way to do this is in an, in an entire batch. So we're going to start by selecting one, hitting Control A to select all. Then I'm going to press this icon for the, actually no, the tools for batch converting our photos. So this is where we were before. We've got our 38 files that we've selected. We're going to hit Advanced Options. Let's uncheck the Resize box. We just did that step. Now we're going to come to Watermark and Add Watermark. I'm going to browse to find the specific file that I want. And it's right here where I saved it from the previous video. 
couple of small changes, position, bottom, center. The opacity, I'm going to change that to 50. I want to be able to see what is behind this watermark, still in the image. I hit OK. And I've selected already my output folder. I'm now ready to convert. I'll take a couple of minutes. If I want to overwrite, in this case I will select yes to all. And then we wait briefly while each of the files process. You now see that all 38 files have processed. We will hit done. And now you can see we have, let's make this large, we have a high quality photo onto which we have put a watermark with our phone number at the bottom. Again, this is not for putting into the MLS itself, as in most MLSs that is a rules violation. However, we can put it here into Postlets or directly into List Hub, depending on your location, and from there syndicate out Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, many other websites that pick up these syndications now include your phone number as part of the image itself. Purpose here is buyer leads now are contacting you directly instead of other agents whose names may appear off to the right of your property photos. So if you like this kind of idea, please subscribe. There will be future training and tutorial videos to help real estate agents get ahead with little or no extra expense. Thanks. Have a great day.